coming to visit the fresh produce market here this morning in uh, Panama City and just want to give you an idea when you drive in uh, this is the this is the egg guy by the way on your right hand side if you want fresh eggs uh, you get from the egg guy uh, and this is the market itself so this is the entry to the market uh, very well uh, post posted sign posted um, and uh, pretty easy to find uh, you, all you do is you search uh, Marca Panama uh, and uh, it'll it'll bring you to the fresh produce market here uh, in Panama you can see the, the farmers I'll zoom in a bit farmers on the right hand side uh, also selling their wares just at the back of their truck in bulk um, and then the market itself under these uh, roofs here so the roofs uh, on both this close one and the further one are all the trading halls uh, for the fresh produce market and you can also buy here directly uh, just outside uh, in the parking lot uh, you can buy particularly bananas uh, the guy is selling it just off the back of the trucks uh, so this is uh, one of the first trading halls or the, the first trading hall so you walk in through there and they give you an idea of uh, what the market looks like so not only uh, fresh produce uh, like all your fruits and vegetables uh, but also things like uh, nuts and um, beans and all the different uh, herbs that you can all buy here but uh, just to give an idea this is there we go Panama number uno so uh, you'll see people are very friendly you know, everybody's happy uh, the wares are fantastic it really really looks nice uh, when they sell it here at the fresh produce market and so much to choose from from your bananas and plantains to fruits that uh, that we don't know uh, so that is uh, really really nice and you see the scales that hang in every store because you buy per pound or per kilogram uh, depending on the scale uh, one of the strange things of Panama is they, they use both systems imperial and metric uh, so sometimes your guy will weigh for you in pounds other times you'll weigh in kilograms and when you go to a supermarket you'll notice that uh, your fresh produce and your meat and everything else is uh, marked and priced in both pounds and kilograms all the different restaurants and uh, people that uh, uh, obviously there are private people as well buying for their home that's uh, what makes this market so great but all the different restaurants uh, the buyers also come here uh, they normally have the one person that they deal with and give them the best price uh, but i do also want to show you the amount of millies so uh, corn uh, widely available here in Panama um, so we have stacks and stacks of uh, corn uh, that uh, are available here so for those of you that uh, are into millies our South Africans uh, makes us very happy to see the amount of corn or millies available you can buy bulk in kilogram or you can buy it per bag as per year so depending on what you want to buy you can then grab here from the market uh, Merca Panama in Panama City so as you walk out of the one trading hall uh, you make your way across the parking lot and you go to the other trading hall uh, you can see how big these trading halls are so each store or stall rather uh, some of them are quite small but they all have their own products that they specialize in uh, this area that the hall that we walk into uh, is, uh, is also leads the way to the to the restaurant so uh, this is basically trading hall number two and then you can see right through the back there's another one again uh, so really really massive uh, lots of produce uh, from all over Panama fresh produce available at Marca Panama uh, here in Panama City so in the second uh, trading hall two things that uh, you immediately notice there the quantities are a lot bigger so it's definitely a lot more bulk buying and then obviously a lot more permanent stores so these guys actually have uh, stores that they can open up and uh, lock again so a little bit different than the first trading hall a lot bigger uh, I would imagine that's because they all have stores uh, so it means a little bit more space required so the second trading hall more permanent and uh, more of the stores selling in big quantities where with the first 
trading all the stall owners you could buy per pound or per half a pound or kilo or half a kilo uh, these bigger bags available here in the second trading hall as almost everywhere in Panama you see a lot of policemen around friendly uh, all in pretty good shape uh, quite strange from uh, once you've seen South Africa so this is the third trading hall pretty much the same as the first one in the sense that uh, bigger bags bigger quantities pre-packed quantities uh, available and also permanent stalls as opposed to just the stalls so in the final trading hall a, a lot more products that uh, have already been processed so mini meal prefect uh, maize uh, everything that has been or a lot more products that uh, have uh, been processed already also selling rice and various other things so pretty much the same as the first two where everybody have got their own stores but uh, these ones are more processed items so uh, and uh, and all the accessories that goes with cooking like the herbs and spices and oils uh, etc so each store interesting how or each uh, hangar or each big warehouse interesting how they differ from the previous one <laughs> 